Uh, this is a 20 questions tag. Mm -hmm. uh, I was tagged by L's L, all that glitters 21. And she just tagged everyone who watched the video, so I'm now tagged. Number one, thing you cannot leave the house without, my jacket. Um, I got the jacket this year because my brother moved out and he said whatever clothes he left, my sister and I could keep. And I took it from my sister who took it from my brother who left it for us. And I do not go anywhere without it. I go to school with it, I go to the store with it, I go on vacation with it, I base sometimes I even sleep in it. And I don't know why, and it's probably because it has like my essentials in the pocket. It, it's got my lip gloss, it's got my cell phone, it's got my Zoom, which is like an iPod rip off, but I love it. It's got like all my essentials in there. I mean, I don't care if it's like 100 degrees out, I will wear it. So, yes. Number two, favorite brand of makeup. Um, I usually don't, I don't have a favorite brand of makeup or clothes or anything beauty slash whatever related. I usually just get whatever I like and whatever is comfortable for me. I mean, I usually only wear eyeliner, uh, mascara, and lip gloss anyways, and I don't usually wear a whole lot of makeup. I usually forget to put makeup on, so I don't have a favorite brand of makeup. Number three, favorite flowers. I love, 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 love tulips. Tulips and black and white roses. Um, I don't know why. I know that red tulips signify or something to, some, some word like that. It means, like, undying love or something. And I just love it because it seems so romantic. And then there's black and white tulips because, or black and white roses because, um, red tulips mean believe me or declaration of love and black and white roses I'm going there now um I just like the colors pretty much but I like pink and white roses as well because they mean I love you still and always will and that rhymes Oh, I'm so special. But, uh, roses and tulips, pretty much. Favorite clothing store is basically the same answer for number two. I don't have a favorite. I just wear whatever's comfortable, and I don't care about, like, style, pretty much. I just wear whatever I think is comfortable, and I usually just wear them for years and years until I can't wear them anymore. Favorite perfume. I only have one perfume because personally I can't wear perfumes because they burn my nose. Uh, mostly just the fact that most of them are really strong perfumes. Um, but I like this one perfume and I can't remember what it's called but it smells like a florist shop. It smells like a flower shop. It's beautiful. Heels or flats? Converse high tops. I don't care what the occasion is. I don't care if it's my wedding or if it's a friend's wedding or if it's prom. I don't care if I'm going on a runway, which is never going to happen anyways. I will always wear my old ratty black Converse high tops that I got on sale for 40 bucks because they were on sale. They are like 80 bucks originally, so I'm glad I got them on sale. Do you make good grades? I like to think I do, but I'm having a feeling that I failed this year of school because I failed two finals in my worst two classes, and they're like the second biggest tests of the year. They're like the finals. I've always had good grades, though. Favorite colors? I have, um, technically, it's like a color and a, uh category of colors. It's black and anything neon aside from red. I hate the color red. I cannot stand the color red. I don't care how many times you say it. I don't care how many times I see it. I always feel sick when I see the color red. I don't know why and it's not because I have a fear of blood or anything because I just don't have a fear of blood and all. I don't have a fear of anything red. I just don't like the color.
but I like mostly black and orange. Black and like electric orange. Um, do you drink energy drinks? Yes, I do. Monsters, Amps, and Red Bulls. I love them all. I mean, I have Amp Swim Drunks, if that says anything about me. I love them. Do you drink juice? Not as much as I used to. I usually drink either sweet tea, energy drinks, or uh, milk, pretty much. Um, I don't drink juice as much as I used to. Do you eat fries with a fork? I rarely use a fork unless I have to. I use my fingers on everything I can. I don't like using a fork. I don't like using a spoon unless it's like cereal or soup or whatever. Do you like swimming? And that was actually the question I was just supposed to answer. But I, I like swimming, but I don't swim a lot and I can't swim with the crap. Um, <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! What's your favorite moisturizer? I'm just kind of assuming, like, your favorite lotion. I like cocoa butter. It smells good. Woo! Do you want to get married later on in life? I do, but I don't think I will be able to. Because I'm gay. And same-sex marriages, or gay marriages, or whatever you want to call it, are not allowed where I live. And I don't think there's a place in the U.S. that's allowing same-sex marriages or if they are I doubt they'll be able to when I'm old enough to get married <sighs> which is gonna suck do you get mad easily I get mad very easily I'm the type of person who acts and I make people think that I'm like always calm or always relaxed when usually inside I my emotions are like crashing waves onto the ocean. I am usually like ADD when it comes to my emotions because like permanent PMS I swear because I'll be happy one second I'll be pissed off the next I'll be crying the next and it's so confusing but I get mad very easily I get depressed very easily too. Um, Are you into ghost hunting? I was raised on watching Ghost Hunters, uh, I just started watch I just finished watching Ghost Whisper, I've watched A Haunting, I read, uh, Ghost Huntress, I read any book related to ghosts, I have a book about ghosts, just, like, the history of ghosts and whatever, um, I love ghosts, I've always been interested in ghost hunting, I've always been interested in psychics and people who see ghosts and all, and I love them. I just love learning about them because they're all they're so mysterious and there's not a whole lot of facts on them that you can actually know for sure a hundred percent. Any phobias? I um hate spiders. I have a huge fear of spiders because when I was about three years old I was bit by a brown recluse and I ended up staying in the hospital for about a month and I didn't even have to go to, I didn't get to go to Christmas, like, so I didn't get to celebrate Christmas with my family because of it. And people who know anything about these spiders are probably wondering how the crap did I survive. And I'm not telling you how, I'm just telling you that I did. And I'm freaking happy that I did because now I'm, like, happily in love. And dating my girlfriend very happily. Yay! Um, do you bite your nails? I bite my nails like 24-7. Usually it's only my thumbnail though and my pinky nail, pinky fingernail. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just because I can't really stand like fresh painted nails and I love painting my nails. But I like chipped nails if that makes any sense. Have you ever had a near-death experience? No. Um, I want, I always, like, write, like I have, and I always 
because I'm an author and all that, and I always write my characters, because I always make them, I'm saying always a lot, but with my characters, I always base them off of, like, parts of myself, and whatever, and, like, things I've went through, and things I find interesting, and whatever, and most of them always, in my books, because like I said, they, they're they based off of me, and they always have near-death experiences, but I've never had one. Um, I haven't at all. Do you drink coffee? Coffee and energy drinks are my best friend. I love them very, very much so.